Hello everyone, in my previous video we have learnt about crowded plate technique and oxanography. In this video we will learn enrichment culture technique which is a third technique which is employed in primary screening of industrially important microorganism. Now this technique was designed by a soil microbiologist Bajanik to isolate the desired microorganisms from a heterogeneous microbial population present in soil. Now here either the medium or incubation conditions are adjusted so as to favor the growth of the desired microorganisms. Now enrichment culture technique is used to detect the organisms which are enzyme producers. So here we are going to detect the organisms which produce enzymes. Now this consists of following steps. In the first step what we do is we prepare a nutrient broth with an unusual substrate. So when I say unusual substrate, here I will uh, take an example of a cellulose powder as an unusual substrate. Say if I have to isolate an organism which is producing an enzyme cellulase, then I am going to choose cellulose powder as my substrate. So I will prepare nutrient broth with cellulose powder in it. And then I will inoculate this nutrient broth with a cellulose powder in it with the soil organisms. I am going to inoculate soil into the nutrient broth containing cellulose powder. Then I am going to incubate it. So later after incubation we can see that in the nutrient broth containing the cellulose powder there are a lot of organisms growing. Now what I will do I will inoculate this organism from the nutrient broth I'll go in, I'm going to take a small amount of this culture from the nutrient broth and I will inoculate this culture onto a solid medium which is containing the cellulose powder again. So first I have grown it in a broth. I have added the cellulose powder so I have enriched the broth and I have given enough amount of cellulose powder for the organism to grow. Only the organisms which are producing the enzyme cellulase will grow on the in the nutrient broth. So I am going I have enriched the culture there. So I am going to take that organism and I am going to grow them on the uh, solid medium which is having the same composition. So on the solid medium also there is a cellulose powder. So only those organisms which are producing cellulose powder, uh, cellulase enzyme will grow on the cellulose containing solid medium. So I am going to take that well isolated colonies on the petri plate. On the petri plate when I do spread plating I get a well isolated colony. So I am going to take that well isolated colonies and I these colonies are suspected to produce an enzyme cellulase which will be uh, gone for which will be subjected for further testing. If I have to take another example of an uh, microorganism which is producing alkaline proteases then I will take soil sample and I will subject it to serial dilution. So the soil sample is subjected to serial dilution. All soil dilution are heated at 80 degrees Celsius so that all the vegetative cells are killed but the spores remain unaffected. Later what I do is I am going to uh, uh, take this uh, treated sample and I will spread it on a nutrient agar which is containing casein. Okay, I am going to uh, inoculate this uh, treated sample on a medium containing casein. Now casein is a protein that is present in milk and I am going to uh, prepare the media which is having a pH of 10 to 12. So it is an alkaline pH. So I have prepared a media containing casein at, and having a pH of 10 to 12. So later when I uh, grow, when I inoculate this treated sample on the uh, media containing casein and uh, pH 10 to 12, the colonies will grow. Now these colonies which is growing, if they are surrounded by a clear zone around it, if there is a zone of clearance around each colony, then that means the colony is producing alkaline proteases which has degraded the casein. Casein is a protein so it has uh, it has utilized the casein that is present in the media. So therefore there is a zone of clearance around this colony. So I am going to take this colony and subculture it and go for further testing. So like this I am going to identify whether the organism is producing enzymes or not. 
uh, if i have to detect the organism producing amylase then i will prepare a starch agar plate if i have to uh, see if the organism is producing protease then i will prepare a uh, media containing protein like casein if i have to see if they are producing uh, enzyme cellulase then i'll prepare a media containing cellulose if i have to see if they are producing lipases then i have to prepare a media which is having a lot of lipid in it so like this i do the enrichment culture technique thank you all for listening and in my next video we will look into another technique that is use of an indicator dye